Let everybody know, Super Street, you will lead us off at 8.30 in the morning. Round number two of elimination, Super Street, 8.30 in the morning, then stock, Super Gas, Super Stock, Super Cop, Top Dragster, round one, Cop round one, Top Sportsman round one. Speaking of rounds, here's round number two, Super Cop. Here's Doug. Here's Michael. Here's Tony. Did you uh, use your fingers to count the number of rounds on this? No, I used my toes. Okay. Tony Elrod from Fenton, Missouri, Michigan is in the left lane. Right lane, Michael Shelton, New Carlisle, Ohio. That's the shelf foot car in the right lane. McElvain chassis, 604 cubic inches. Left lane, Tony Elrod, Fenton, Michigan. Sunoco and Abruzzi Transmissions, American chassis, 632 incher. Second round of eliminations for Super Cop. Should be 20 pairs. Well, clean and green. Better light by Elrod, he wins. 890 with a two, nearly dead on. Zero, one, two, reaction time. Next up, Derek Denny, Pleasant View, Tennessee, in the left lane. Ten, Denny Mechanical, sponsored, 12 American. That's a 2012, not a 1912. 632 cubic inch Chevrolet for power. In the right lane, Pat Lamott from Lake Villa, Illinois. 65 year old auto repair shop owner, Lamott Auto and, trans and Trailer Sales. It's a 2004 undercover chassis. Powered by 500 cubic inches of Chevrolet. Pit crews, Pat Lamott and Steve Mumford. And Mike. Derek Denny's American chassis dragster gets the win, 97. 8.97 with a 0, 0, 5 reaction time. Breakout. In the right lane, Jacob Elrod from Herod, Ohio is in the left lane, 37-year-old financial advisor. Right lane is Brian Milham. Milham is from Lawndale, Illinois. He's a 43-year-old truck driver with an undercover chassis. Five hundred and eighty-eight cubic inches is in the right lane, six hundred and thirty-two in the left lane, both of course, Chevrolet. And it's a dual breakout. Jacob Elrod again is a winner, 888. Closer than 885 of Brian Milham. A mile hand. Here's Bob Prost from Terre Haute, Indiana. 45 year old business owner in the right lane, 15 American chassis. Left lane, 15 Race Tech chassis. Rich Pica from Coshocton, Ohio. 620 cubic inches in the left lane, 632 cubic inches in the right lane. Puts a couple of cubic inches among friends. Red light negates all that cubic inch talk. Makes the winner Rich Pica. Goes 888 on an 890, but it, it didn't matter. He went quicker than his index, but he had the automatic win. Red light up here, glowing against the side of Bob Prossy's car. Minus zero, zero, 002. That's tough to have one that close to a green light and go red. Red light's a red light. Rick Schneider, Westland, Michigan, right lane, 50 years old, American chassis. Left lane, Rick Hughes, Fishers, Indiana, 54 years old, A&A Transmission sponsors Hughes, power chassis, 572 inches. Schneider is 50 years old, American chassis, 598 cubic inches.
Rick Schneider gets the win, 893. Luke Bogaki from Carterville, Illinois, is in the K&N Engineering 16 American chassis in the right lane. Jerry Mellis from Hope, Indiana, 61-year-old engineer, is in the Mellis Brothers 2006 M&M chassis, 468 cubic inches. Red light by Millis. Bogaki's a winner. 887 on the automatic win. He had a good 15 light. Deacon Kalish from Wakanda, Illinois. 49 year old golf pro is in the Bantam Roadster with the AMC engine in the left lane. Quite a combination, but it seems to work. It goes 890 consistently or thereabouts. Kendra Rhineshield taking him on in the right lane from Brookville, Indiana. And the good looking fast lube armor paving and sealing dragster. American chassis, 582 cubic inches. True Racer Motorsports car. Pit crew, Scotty and Cade Reinshield. Tomorrow, it's Cade's turn in the juniors. Kendra's dad, Mark. Harmon out there watching. And Kendra wins. Deacon Kalish, red lights. Kendra goes 887 for the automatic win. Bill Riddle from Brighton, Michigan is in the right lane. 36 year old grass groomer. Oh, grass groomer from Corrigan Race Fuel. Adkins chassis, 615 cubic inches. Left lane, Steve Fields from Carlton, Michigan, 58-year-old Petro transport driver. Fields Racing Advanced Chassis, 540 cubic inches. Win goes to Riddle, had a better light, got the win, 92 on a 90, and 91. Steve Fields is a little bit quicker, but the whole shot by Riddle got the job done for him. And Mia Tedesco from Murraysville, Pennsylvania, is in the right lane. She's 23 years old, sponsored by Cars Protection Plus. It's a 2016 Danny Nels Dragster with a Wilkerson engine. Taken on, 61-year-old parts director, Kevin Trusty. And the Going Radical Racing 11 Kearns chassis, 632 cubic inches. Teresa Trusty, his pit crew. Sam Lowther, his grandson. Sam will be back tomorrow in Junior Dragsters. And the win goes to Tedesco. Trusty had the light. He had an easy win, and he went way quicker than he needed to go. Mia Tedesco goes 891 and gets the win. Kevin's going to look at that time ticket and say, what in the world did I do? That's why they make rearview mirrors. Jason Hardick from Lancaster, Ohio. Hardig Motorsports undercover chassis in the right lane. Left lane, R.J. Thacker, Minford, Ohio, former junior driver in the Advantage chassis. 511 cubic inch big block Chevrolet. Jason Harding gets the win, 912. Nine flat for RJ Thacker. But Harding got the light on RJ. RJ was whooped 
and down here on the starting line with a huge hole shot. Joey Fusting from Grays Lake, Illinois is in the Parker Store Racing McIlvain chassis in the right lane. 31 year old hydraulic hose specialist. Brian Horton from Walbridge, Ohio in the left lane, 39 year old top dragster crew chief. Well, he's driving the car now. The top, well, he's, he's not in top dragsters though, is he? American chassis, 565 cubic inches. Well, Fuston got a better light, and he, he made it a win. 890 with an 8. Nearly dead on. Breakout by Brian Horton. Devin Eisenhower from Lebanon, Indiana is in the American chassis in the right lane. Left lane, Bob Kropfeld, Hamilton, Ohio. Another American chassis. It's a 2012 American chassis, left side. 2014 American chassis, right side. Eisenhower is a student. Kropfeld in the left lane is a 50-year-old auto technician. Eisenhower gets to win 891 on an 890 index. And here we go with Dean McIlvain, New Carlisle, Ohio. McIlvain race cars in a McIlvain chassis, 632 cubic inches. Philip Smita from Canfield, Ohio, a 33-year-old electronic security technician in the 2015 American chassis, 598 cubic inches. Win goes to Smida. He had a 0-0-3 light. And we were gonna we weren't gonna say anything about the winner until we saw the result. McIlvain was quicker. He went an 890. Smida went 894. Again, the whole shot did it for Smida. Jeremy Mason from Richmond, Kentucky is in the Miller chassis, left lane. Right lane is Adam Gerber from Maslin, Ohio. The American chassis. 598 cubic inches right lane, 632 in the left lane. Jeremy Mason left lane is 29 years old, an engineer. Adam Gerber's 30 years old, he's a supervisor. Maybe he supervises engineers, I don't know. Well, win to Gerber. You see the wind light come on on the scoreboard. Jeremy Mason got a red eye, 0, 0, 003 minus. So Gerber in the right lane gets the win. Here comes a door car into the burnout box, and there's one on the starting line. Jason Lynch from Cedar Hill, Tennessee, is in the Cobalt up there on the starting line, the right side, the Sunoco lane, sponsored by Cars Protection Plus. 632 cubic inches of Chevy power that car. Jeff McRoby, New Philadelphia, Ohio is in the Spitzer chassis dragster. Jason Lynch's Cobalt is powered by a Wilkerson engine. Well, that's a close race. Nearly identical reaction times, and Lynch gets a win. He goes 91. McRoby goes 93. Lynch got there first by that difference, two hundredths of a second. Next up, Steve Eckerd, the Pataskala Flash, and his 91 Oldsmobile Cutlass. 
54-year-old self-employed business owner, 82-83 Summer Nationals Super Gas winner, 86 TRW Super Gas winner, 83 and 86 Division Three Super Gas champion, 82 Super Gas world champion, 98 Fram Nationals winner, 82 and 83 Summer Super Gas winner. And I can go on and on. Ed Eckert, his pitch chief, and Eckert wins. Steve Eckert gets the automatic win. Patty Fisher, red lights. Eckert goes 891 for the win. Chad Lamont, Fox Lake, Illinois. Lamont trailer sales, ATD, MP, race tech chassis, right lane. Left lane, Rob Goins, Orlando, Florida. Dave Goins, Holly Racing, his sponsors. O2 undercover chassis powered by a 557 cubic inch Ford. 615 cubic inch Chevy in the race tech chassis in the right lane of Chad Lamont. Lamont gets the win, 893 on an 890, 36 light, 40 light, right, not very that far away for Goins. He went 894. The margin of victory was 63 ten thousandths, 0 .0063 seconds. Close. Gary Fleener from Port Clinton, Ohio is in the right lane. He's a transmission builder. Super Comp Diamond chassis, 582 inches. Left lane, Joe Hessling, Toledo, Ohio, 29-year-old engine builder in the American chassis. Good lights. Fleener had a 0, 0 3 and he got the win, 8.93. Hessling was a, a hundredth quicker with an 8.92, but he had a 19 light. So the win goes to Gary Fleener again. The margin of victory is 24 ten thousandths. Last pair, and it's a good one. Tim Papp from Charleston, Illinois, 41 year old shop owner against Paige Coughlin, 17 years old from Delaware, Ohio. Her dad, Troy Coughlin, out there that, watching that McIlvain chassis with a 632 cubic inch Chevrolet engine powered, of course, by Jegs High Performance. <laughs> 17 year old Paige goes ahead and stages. Tim Pop goes ahead and takes the pre-stage beam. And now they're about ready. Time. Paige Coughlin, 891 on an 890 breakout by Pop. Pop had a little bit better reaction time. But he went 86-7 on an 890. Page went 891 and got the win. That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes this evening's activities. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience when we had the oil down. And we'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Super Comp. What is it? Thanks, Doug, and you're right. Racing for today has concluded. Two rounds of eliminations in stock and super gas and super cup. We will start off at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Super Street, you will be out for round number two. Same run order as today. Super Street out, then stock, super gas, super stock, super comp. Top dragster, cop eliminator, top sportsman, and I understand we've got some junior dragsters coming in tomorrow, Doug. Is that right, Doug? Junior dragsters tomorrow?
So our junior dragsters will be out running in competition with us tomorrow as well. But again, 8.30 tomorrow morning, Super Street, you'll be out first. Round number next of stock, then Super Gas, Super Stock, Super Comp. Top dragster round one, comp eliminator round number one, top sportsman round number one. And on your way out, don't forget to swing by. Souvenir store down there, the souvenir trailer behind the hot rod grill. Pick up your event souvenir t-shirt. Hope to see you all back tomorrow. Got some great racing going to be going on all day tomorrow before we crown our champions tomorrow.